Okay, this is lesson 3.2 on fractions. We're now going to be going to multiply fractions by fractions. So instead of having a whole number involved, now we're going to have two-thirds times one-quarter rather than two-thirds times six or six times two-thirds. So to make this happen, we're going to use a fraction grid. Okay, so this is a step-by-step -step thing. The first step is to work across on two-thirds. So I want two out of three rows. Okay, that's the first thing you're going to do. Two out of three rows. There is two out of three rows. You'll notice I've got the hash marks, slash marks going in one direction. Now, the second step is to put one out of four columns. Here is one out of four columns. Now, here's the hard part. Well, not really. What overlapped area is showing? If you take a look here. This here, right there, is overlapped twice. Okay. Now, this is slightly different than just counting thirds or quarters because we've got different um, fractions here. The one on the on the right hand side here, left hand side. This is in thirds. This is in quarters. So what we've done by creating two out of three rows and one out of four is we've created the common denominator of twelve. So this is going to be how many pieces out of twelve? I've got one here and one here, so my answer is two twelfths. So, two thirds times one quarter is equal to two twelfths. Pretty straightforward. Remember, rows versus columns. If you reduce this, you get one over six. Okay, again, another one for you. Two out of five rows, one out of three columns, so I need five by three. Okay. Two out of five rows, so there is one, two, okay, and there is my two out of five rows. One out of three columns, there is my one out of three columns. How many are doubled or double crossed? You see right there, I have how many? Two of them. How many are there in total? So 2 out of 15. So there's your answer. 1 third times 2 fifths is equal to 2 fifteenths. And you should be saying, oh, this is pretty easy. Good. Let's have you try this one without my help. All right. So first off, 3 out of 4 rows. So going sideways, there's my first row. There's my second row. There's my third row out of four rows. Now, how about one out of five columns? So take one of the columns, doesn't matter which one. There's one out of five columns. Now, how much is doubled up? Right here. So I've got one, two, three out of, and there are 20 squares there. So three over four times one over five, sorry, so uh, 3 over 4 times 1 over 5 is 3 twentieths. I'm right. Okay, go down to the next page. This one is all yours. Bob had half a case of popcorn. He gave two-thirds of it away. How much did Bob give away? I'll give you a hint. It's multiplied. Okay, you should be done. Two-thirds. That's two out of three rows. Come on, give me a pen here. Oh, my smart board just died. Give me a second, I'll pause the recording and try to figure out what's going on here. All right, I figured it out. Got it back on, on working here. So, Bob had one half case of popcorn. He gave two thirds of it away, so I need two thirds times a half. Now remember, it doesn't matter which order you do. You can put the one half on the left side over here, and then you can do the, the other one over here. It doesn't matter how you do it. The, crisp, the, the important thing is to remember you've got rows and you've got columns. So two thirds are two out of every three rows. There's one, there's two out of every three rows. Now, I need columns, one out of the two columns. Now, how much is doubled? Right here. So, my answer is two out of one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, if I reduce that, that's one third. So, Bob gave away one third of the popcorn. 
Now at this point, if you're in the classroom, I'd have you create a partner for your problem to solve, sorry, create a problem for your partner to solve, and then uh, you get you to come up and explain how you did it. However, at this point in time, you're at home, so you probably can't do it. So that means, giddy up, go on the assignment. And if you have any trouble, rewind or watch again, and, or you can come and talk to me at lunch. I'll be more than happy to help you. And we will see you in the next lesson.